हेलो फिजियोस आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आवर चैनल फिजियो विद्यापीठ वी आर बैक विद आवर सेकंड लेक्चर ऑन लेजर थेरेपी एंड हियर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ लेजर एंड प्रोडक्शन ऑफ लेजर ओके इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट टू हैव अ क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग दिस ओके सो माय नेम इज विजय कुमार एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so under the principle of laser we can say that it is based on quantum theory of electrons and three main processes are involved okay that is three principles are involved first is spontaneous emission you can see that this is an atom this is nucleus and these are the these are the energy levels where electron reside now let us say there is one electron which i have marked this is in the higher energy level okay so this is in the higher energy level so what the electron is thinking that i am in higher energy level but i want stability and stability is not at higher level it is always at the lower level okay so it will come down it will come down and during the process when it come down it will definitely release some energy which will be in the form of in the form of photon okay so this is the photon okay and this whole process is called spontaneous emission why it is called spontaneous emission because we did not stimulated this electron to come down it itself came down and gave energy in the form of photon which is our laser okay that i will explain you in the production part okay first is this thing now let us say there is an electron which is present at lower energy level and one photon will come and give energy to it so there is one photon so this photon came and stimulated to go in the higher energy level this process is called absorption okay so the second is absorption now third is now let us say there is one electron is in the higher energy level and it get hit by a by a photon now what will happen see itself it was producing one photon and now if it is stimulated by another photon so definitely two photons will be produce photon and another photon and this is called the stimulated emission why stimulated emission because this photon is stimulating that is giving energy to this electron and this electron will say i am already i am already in higher energy level you are giving me more energy i have to release lot of energy so that lot of energy is in the form of two photons so these are the three main processes or the principle which are involved in the production first is spontaneous emission that is some electron are in higher energy level so to gain stability definitely it will come down and when it will come down it will release some energy and that energy is in the form of photon next is absorption some electron which are present in the lower energy level will gain the energy from any photon and go to higher level third is stimulated emission an electron which is initially in the higher energy level will be getting some energy from photon to give lot of photons okay because it is it was already with the high energy okay so this is the principle of production of laser and like this lot of photons 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 will be produced and that will collectively form a beam of laser okay beam of laser next is the production of laser so okay now we will study all the production from this simplified diagram okay so it is very important what are the uh, components of this uh, particular diagram okay so this thing is resonating cavity okay this box is resonating cavity okay so this one okay this is resonating cavity then this blue one inside it that is this box we can say it this box this blue box is 
रेजोनेटिंग मीडियम रेजो मीडियम ओके सो हेयर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द प्रॉपर स्ट्रक्चर एंड हाउ द लेजर इज प्रोड्यूस्ड दिस इज पावर सप्लाई एज इट इज रिटर्न ओके एंड दिस इज द लेजर बीम विच इज कमिंग आउट लेजर बीम विच इज कवरिंग कमिंग आउट ओके एंड दिस रेजोनेटिंग कैविटी इज हैविंग टू सर्फेसिस this one is first this one is second this one is fully silvered fully silvered to act like a mirror it will act like a mirror this one is partially silvered partially silvered okay so definitely there will be some holes on this side okay as that, that i have made you can zoom to see it. so but in the production what are the main things first thing is the outer box outer box is the resonating cavity what is the resonating cavity it is the cavity which inside have resonating medium okay so there is a big box or a cavity called resonating cavity and inside that there is a lacing medium and what is the meaning of this lacing medium it is the medium which is which is given some uh, power that is through the mains or battery which have property of being getting uh, to produce photon okay to produce photon so this whole process will definitely be occur in will definitely be occur in this lacing medium okay which is Uh, able to get pumped to to have the spontaneous emission absorption and stimulated emission of electron to produce photon and thereby to produce the laser okay thereby to produce the laser and last is power source that i have that i have drawn see now you need to just zoom and focus hold toward the toward the dial this outer box is resonating cavity and inside the resonating cavity what is present it is lacing medium what is this lacing medium doing this is doing the pumping of electrons so this whole process which i have explained you in the principle of laser is occurring in this lacing medium that is it can be helium and neon that is mixture of noble gases in in the helium neon laser which is called first generation of laser and it can be the semiconductor such as gallium arsenide or gallium aluminum arsenide that is semiconductor or diode laser called the second generation okay then it can be aluminum oxide in ruby laser and it can be multi source cluster that is third generation which have large number of diodes up to 180 also okay and last is flexible multi source cluster which is the fourth generation of fourth generation of laser okay so any of thing can be present here that is the blue box okay so inside this you can uh, feel that i have drawn some dots now and these dots are mixture of gases such as helium and neon and now you can focus see this is the resonating cavity inside cavity this black dot black dot is the is the gas okay that is helium and neon gas inside which that is the what is happening with these gases these gases are undergoing these three processes that is spontaneous emission absorption and stimulated emission to produce large number of photons 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 so these are large number of photons here and this end is fully silvered that is to act like a mirror but this end is partially silvered which will act like a mirror okay but it will have some hole to give way to the output okay so laser has to come out also na so here the photons which are produced will undergo back and forth reflection back and forth reflection it will be reflected forward backward forward backward and once it come near to the output hole on the partially silvered glass it will come out as a 
laser beam and how all this process is given energy it is given from the power source which can be either which can be either a battery which can be either a battery or it can be main supply or main okay it can be mains directly from the main we are giving the supply so this is the whole thing which you need to understand under the production okay so what we have studied in today's lecture it was principle of laser three things any electron which is already in higher energy level it will come down give photon why because energy can neither be created nor be destroyed it is coming down definitely energy will be released and that energy is released in the form of photon second is absorption if any electron is in lower energy state it will absorb energy from any photon to come to higher level and that electron present in the higher energy level if it is uh, striked by another photon it will release a lot of photons and these whole things are occurring in lasing medium okay so different different type of lasers is having their own medium okay in ruby laser there, there will be aluminium oxide here and in helium neon in la uh, laser there will be mixture of helium and neon gas and in semiconductor there will be gallium aluminium arsenide okay then in the production what we have studied there will be a big box that is the resonating cavity inside the cavity there will be the medium that is either ruby rod will be there or gases such as helium and neon okay and when we will give power to the lasing medium these process will occur and photons will be produced these photons will be reflected back and forth okay to make a straight beam and this end is completely silvered that is acting like a mirror so it will reflect all the photons toward that side but this side is partially silvered so as to give way for the output and definitely a straight pencil like beam is produced which is the laser beam and that's all for the production of laser okay so in our next lecture we will move toward the further concepts related to laser therapy till then you keep on studying thank you to one and all